Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me on today's Head Shave. Today's Head Shave and a soap profile. Today we are profiling one that's been around a little while, Barrister and Man's La Grande Chipre. Now, um, I think everybody knows what grand means, large. However, Chipre is a type of uh, scent category that I really don't have a whole lot of experience with. I had to do a little bit of research on it before I started, and um, apparently it's, uh, it's known for having oak moss and uh, it's just kind of an, to me, it seems kind of an earthy slash citrusy type scent. At least that's what I can get from all the research that I've done. Now, this particular one, you crack it open. As you can see, I've taken a slight sample out of that. That's exactly kind of what I get off of it. It has like a little bit of a citrusy start to it, but then it, it jumps right into a, for me, an earthy scent. Um almost cologne based in a way so anyway that's the soap we're going to be profiling we're going to be doing a bowl lather into our bowl here uh, this is just a, a uh, standard soup bowl Japanese soup bowl I got from the local Asian market because the CD shaven bowl is a little tied up it's got a uh, we'll call it a secret soap sample it's a sample in there that is being tested by me and there will be more on that in the future so for that for now it's gonna stay right up there let's get into the rest of the gear today we're gonna to be shaving with the gem micromatic single edge you see and of course we are going to load it with the gem single edge blade far as the brush is concerned we've been going with our Decepticon boss knot synthetic for the aftershave La Terre Vert. Kind of going the whole French motif here, right? Uh, Katie's Bubbles, uh, a little menthol in it. It's got oak moss, sandalwood, and patchouli. Uh, I might go with this. Smell the two together. And uh, the whole oak moss thing going on, I was, uh, yeah, you know what? We'll put those two together. I think they match well. And I love that scent. It's one of my favorite, actually, in all of wet shaving. So we're going to go ahead and mash this, this sample into our bowl, get it lathered up here, get ready to do this head shave, and we'll see what we think of this scent and the soap itself. Be right back. Barrister & Man is a shave soap company that is well established and arguably known as one of the best performing soaps on the market today. The scent profiles that are released fall under strong, varied, classic, and even unique. If you don't like a particular scent profile from them, it is sure to leave a mark in your mind and will recognize it wherever you smell it. Will over at Barrister and Man is never afraid to try something new, bold, or even take a chance on a classic scent. Here we have La Grande Chipre. Chipres are a favorite of Will's and are inspired by the smells indigenous to the island nation of Cyprus. Le Grande Chipre comes in a 4.0 ounce plastic container with a screw top lid and is available for $24.99 at BarristerAndMan.com, along with a sample size and matching aftershave as well. The scent starts off strong with a bergamot and rose and lime menage a trois, then all three are finished off by the entrance of the patchouli and musk, then right at the end is a faint hint of cedar. A nice, masculine, lighter scent, perfect for any shave for any occasion. Okay, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the soap, lathered, ready to go. As far as the scent is concerned, I don't really get too much citrus on it, um, like I've heard these type of scents have. But I do kind of almost get... It's almost like a slight tobacco scent to it. Not a sweet tobacco, not like Grand Havana uh, or Humidor or anything like that, but it just, it's a slight tobacco scent almost. That's kind of what I get off of that, but, uh, but definitely the oak moss is, is there. So uh, yeah, we're going to get this shave started. Before we do, folks, let's get into the holiday of the day. Thank you very much, all military personnel, and happy Memorial Day to you all. I thank you for your service and thank you for everything that you do. I know I appreciate it. So, uh, if any of you happen to have today off, please enjoy the day with your families if you can, or at least I hope you can, and enjoy your time off. So, without further ado, let's get this head shave happening. And uh, we've got our blade loaded here, ready to go for that. 
aftershave is on standby. Always have our trusty Allen block when things get a little bit slick. So, let's take this, put it on this, and go for that DOP status. See you in a bit. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We have achieved DOP status, Dome of Perfection. As you can see, no cuts, nicks, abrasions, redness, perfect shave. No thanks to wonderful products. Post shave, we are going to be throwing on some They Is, which is all, that's how we say it here in New England, They Is. A little bit of that up on there. Now, as far as the scent is concerned, it definitely was strong throughout the rest of the shave. I had no problems with it dissipating whatsoever. Uh, the soap was slick and performed well, just like all Barrister and Man's products. If you haven't tried Barrister and Man, I highly suggest you pick one of theirs up and try it. It doesn't really matter what the scent is. Performance-wise, give them a shot. They're definitely slick and they work well. And if you have any questions at all, uh, Will is a wonderful man to deal with. Has a lot of great information for you newbies as well. So hit him up with your questions. He's quick to get back to you. So moving on, the cushion was there, density was there, the, all of it was there. I mean, it, you can see some of my other reviews on Barrister Man's products. The performance is fantastic, like I just said. As far as the scent is concerned, uh, it's still with me. I can still smell it. The bathroom still has it. Even though I used a, a rose petal um, scented witch hazel, I can still smell the scent of the soap. And I used all of the soap that I had in my bowl. Uh, in fact, I, I don't have anything left from that sample. So from, not from the sample, but from the piece that I put in there. So, uh, And I can still smell it. So it's a nice scent. Uh, it's not overpowering. It is fairly strong. I'd say it's probably a five and a half to six on a scent strength, strength scale. I'll say that five times fast. All right, moving on. Aftershave. Kind of like the after party, isn't it? Try to make sure my head is somewhat dry when I put this stuff on. That way I don't accidentally dilute it. I tend to use way more than is probably necessary, but I love aftershave. Even the stuff that stings a bit. Only stings for a little bit. Unless you had a bad shave and then Yeah, this stuff smells wonderful. I love this stuff. Um, again, it, you know, if you're looking at Katie's Bubbles, any one of their things as well, any one of their scents as well, top of the line performance. So right up there with Barris Turn Man. All right, that is the shave. I highly recommend this soap. I highly recommend the scent, especially if you're into kind of a 
an earthy type of scent. At least that's my take on it. Uh, and if you folks have any questions or comments, please put them on the section below. Love to hear from you, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Those of you that like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Let's get that ticker going. And those of you that are watching this that have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe, but make sure you knock that bell. That way you get a notification every time we do a new video here at CD Shaven. Folks, I am Chad. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy Memorial Day. And we'll see you guys and girls in the next video.